Hey, what's up, y'all? What's popping? What's cracking? It's D. About to react to this vid by the company man. It's titled "What's the Dirt's Awful Drake Family Matters Theory." So there are a couple videos that were made on this, and people have asked me to react to them. Um, but apparently, what's the dirt uploaded a a video breaking down Family Matters, and people are not happy with it. <laughs> So I don't know what he has to say. I don't know if he's bashing Drake and people are upset or what. But yeah, let, let's hear what, what you know they're saying about it. Let's watch. And I spend a lot of time in the breakdown space. I think most of you probably... And am I reacting to What's the Dark video? Absolutely not. It's a two and a half hour video. I'm not watching that. Whether it was on Drake or Kendrick or whatever. An hour, sure. I can get into it. Two and a half hours, a two and a half hour breakdown? No. And I'm not breaking it into parts. I don't want to talk about Drake <laughs> for two and a half hours. It's not giving that. Only because so. of the breakdowns that I've done for years on this channel and other channels. And but he gonna summarize to it. To this day. And it looks like he shows his clips too. I'm, when I skip always, I'm always shocked yeah. when people in the comments say like, the analysts, people who interact with the content that I create, the videos I put out, when they say things like, Man, I used to watch you in middle school. I watched you in high school. All right, company man, get to the video. <laughs> to me, it inspired me. I was writing who were interested in sport and social issues. Right? I had no clue. And I, when I was in high school, I, I could understand who the majority of the people are who tend to watch a lot of these videos. And the I imagine party. the same is happening for Matt. And he's got a lot of... Matt uh, is what's the dirt, I'm assuming. Uh support from industry people. He has been building relationships very quickly. And I like his videos. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. And, I, and I'll say this. And I know for a fact that most of the people who are watching these videos are probably middle schoolers and high schoolers, that's just in true. general, because that's what it is in our space, especially with big topics. And the thing that resonates with me most about Gen Z. that is Matt, what's the dirt, continues to make a point that 10, 15 years from now, he wants to be the go-to guy. He wants to be the guy that has the best coverage of this battle. And probably any coverage of any battle or beef that he, he makes videos about. Probably so. I'm willing to say that, right? Well, he needs to get his and sex this is right. Because he definitely, if you go back and watch my reactions to What's the Dirt, he's definitely made a couple comments here and there that I've been like, uh, uh, what? <laughs> you know, so I, I like his videos overall, but... He's definitely uh, removed from the culture, and it is what it is. I I'm pretty sure he's from Canada. I feel like I've gathered that from from um, a couple of his videos. Because, um, yeah, when he was talking about Drake in one of the breakdowns, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm from Canada, and we, we like Drake or whatever the case. Um, so not only is he from Canada, he's, he's white, okay? <laughs> and it just is what it is. You can be a lover of hip-hop up and down and study this shit and write fucking... Uh, thesis on the shit you can do all of that but the reality is there's gonna be a certain barrier there to some degree you're not gonna fully connect with with what is being stated um just because you're not you're not a part of this black american culture and and that's just a fact okay so there is gonna be a bit of a disconnect there and, and and it's apparent when I'm watching some of these breakdowns. Not even just with what's the dirt. It's another guy. I, I forgot his name, but he was just saying shit. And I'm like, what? I was constantly having to correct him. Like, no, that's not what that's not what he's saying. <laughs> Cause there's just certain like lingo and certain shit that's understood within the the black American space that you just wouldn't understand if you're not in, in the space. And you know, it, it just is what it is. So <laughs> there's always going to be a bit of a disconnect and they're going to be a bit confused when it comes to certain shit, just based off that alone. And that's just what it is. I don't know if that's what he's going to say, but a sincere, a sincere problem with this breakdown, because compared to the other breakdowns, there are things that Matt just isn't in a position to properly contextualize. Mm. He's not in a position to be accurate about certain things and, and his earnest efforts to be objective he states a lot of opinions as if they are fact. A lot of his takes are very myopic, very narrow. Mm. And he frames things as if there are only two options or no options. This is what it has to be. And he's not necessarily doing that while trying to understand Drake's lyrics. He's taking his interpretation of these situations and stating them as fact. 
Here's an example that I'm talking about. Mm. See, I don't like that. Drake starts off the track with a direct rebuttal to Kendrick's claims on Euphoria when Kendrick clowned him for his use of the N-word. Drake strategically trolls Kendrick by getting his own mother to start off the track, requesting that Drake not use the word. Maybe in this song, you shouldn't start by saying... It's pretty clever because his mother probably doesn't approve of him using this word either. He said it's pretty clever. She probably asked him many times over the years not to use it, but she ultimately couldn't do anything about it because Drake is half black, the other side of his family uses it, so she had really zero... How do you know? Half black, the other side of his family uses it. <laughs> Have a fundamental rebuttal to that. I know quite a few black people who don't use the word and they don't like the word and it's not a norm in their family. So that's also a very ignorant take and that's annoying because they, I feel like some people believe that all black Americans operate the same way. There may be certain understandings that a lot of black Americans have, but that doesn't mean that we all operate the same way and all of us are just saying nigga. A lot of us are. <laughs> I say it every day, okay? But there are a lot of people who don't say it and they don't approve of it and they don't uh, practice it in their household. So to, to be like, oh, well, his black side of the family is saying it. How you know that? The fuck? To that. You notice how he said his mom probably didn't want him to use it. Probably for the mom. Let's listen to this one more time. It's pretty clever because his mother probably doesn't approve of him but using it. But the, the daddy is okay with she it. She probably asked him many times over the years not to use it. But she ultimately couldn't do anything about it because Drake is half black. The other side of his family uses it. The other side of his family uses it. Okay, again, what I was talking about, how I didn't realize. Middle school and his mama school. could be throwing around nigga left and right. We don't know what the fuck is happening with her. So I just going to make that that claim, bro. We're my primary audience. <laughs> it's still church. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm writing to compete with you know, Rachel Maddow. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, there's, all, there's a whole other demographic I'm not even considering. His goal is to be, is to have the best, most accurate coverage, the deepest dives into this. Mm -hmm. And these nuances, particularly in this battle, are extremely important. He gave probably to his mom and said clearly his dad, his dad's side of the family used it. My family growing up didn't use the N word. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, it's not too uncommon to be around black people who are just like, nah, like they they, they don't use it. So I, I feel like that's wild for him to make that that comment. I made a whole video on my channel called Don't Say No to the Just Say No to the N-word. I didn't say the N-word for 20 years. And then like three, four years ago, I was like, okay. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Most of my female friends don't don't say it, okay? I say it because I grew up in the projects, all right? <laughs> I grew up in a very ghetto environment. But I have friends who did not, and they don't really say it like that. I, I'm, I'm, like, thinking about my close female friends, and they don't really say it that often whatsoever. And I definitely have a couple friends where I'm just like, wait, I've never heard them say nigga ever, actually. So... Yeah. Say nigga again. I understand the power of that word, and not necessarily to just people of other communities and cultures, but amongst black people. I noticed the craziest part to me when I when I stopped saying I nigga was, it, was that when I stopped saying it around black people, was it when black people around me over a longer period of time, or the more often around me over those protracted periods of times, I stopped hearing it as much too. It's infectious, it's contagious, but it's not a word that every black family uses. Thanks. It's not a word that's accepted in the household. It wasn't accepted in my household. Fine. I didn't start saying it to like middle school or high school in the first place. Being around other people. Mm -hmm, who's Not saying? every family uses that word. It's subtle distinctions like this yeah, that that's resonate annoying. loudly for the context of this battle because it is a culture conversation that's happening. That's happening. I agree. It's a culture conversation that's happening. This is small. Let's watch where he goes. So she had really zero say in the matter. So he's pretty much saying like my own mom couldn't stop me. You're definitely not going to. And what's also... Right. And so now he described all this as clever, right? Which I also find to be a position that is very, maybe looked at differently in other cultures, because in the culture that he's describing, i.e. Drake's father's side, it's not clever to disrespect your mom at the beginning of anything. <laughs> it's not clever. It's not clever. Now, maybe he's talking about who Drake is talking to, and maybe Drake's talking to his audience, and maybe his audience is a different population of people, but that doesn't resonate with black people. Mm. I don't think there resonates with any kind of black people. Mm. 
but he's defining this as clever. And again, I'm still shocked every day that middle schoolers and high schoolers are the ones who are most impacted, or at least tell me on a regular basis by the work I was doing however many years ago. He gives a probably for what his mom might think. He says definitely his family uses that word. He describes it as clever that he disrespects his mom at the beginning. And none of this context is actually true, is actually true yeah. to the point that he's arguing in this battle. It's not true. It's not certain. So he's presenting things as if they're certain, mm. but it's not certain. Now check this part out. He uses it. So she had really zero say in the matter. So he's pretty much saying, like, my own mom couldn't stop me. You're definitely not going to. And what's also really clever here is that Drake is 37 years old, and he says the N-word 37 times on this track, and I believe his reasons for doing this is he's basically saying the word for every year that he's been alive to symbolize that he was indeed born black. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> now, I talked about... This I, is good. I, I really talked about this. I definitely retweeted this moment. <laughs> saying nigga a lot... It, it, <sighs> Saying nigga a lot is proof that you were born black or that you're black. That's what you're associating with blackness is, is the ability to say the N-word. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem that I have with, with some of, of these people. And, and listen, I'm not saying that other races can't uh analyze rap and enjoy the genre and speak on it because they can but some of them piss me off because they say goofy shit like this and once again when you are outside of this black space you need to be very careful with how you speak on it when you have no insight and it, it's very clear you don't know what the fuck you talking about so you you need to be careful in the way that you convey some some of these points that you're making these very awful points like what are we talking about I saw this yesterday I, I, honestly after i saw this i almost tuned out to the i almost i was like i had to call curtis King. i called curtis King. i'm like yo curtis did you know that trick says nigga 37 times to symbolize he's been i think for 37 years <laughs> right like <laughs> what crazy, crazy and this has got i mean this has got to be one of the the most i don't even know how to describe I don't even know how to describe what this is. I don't know what to describe this is. Because from my point of view, this doesn't work on no matter how you look at it. What's the dirt describe this as clever? And the crazy part about it is a lot of people who consume rap now are non-black, okay? So they're going to eat this shit up and be like, yeah, yeah, you're right. This is, this is accurate. He's, he's, he's spitting facts. What's the problem? <laughs> that's what they're going to say. And that's what annoys me because it's like none of y'all know what the fuck is going on. Shut up. And again, appreciate the genre all you like, analyze it, speak on it, sure. But you got to know what the fuck you talking about. He described it as clever. All right, so let's say What's the Dirt is actually correct. Let's imagine that What's the Dirt... That's if you're making a nails, breakdown maybe, video. Like you're trying to break it down to us so, so, so we can understand. From Drake's perspective. But you don't let's even know. You don't even understand. What was with the 616. Let's say that's the case. Then that would mean Drake sat down... Consciously thought out the number of niggas to include in his song, landed on 37 because of his age, and said, Yeah, that's deep, that's dope. Oh, That'll show him how much of a nigga how I am. Black I am. That'll show how black I am. Let's say that. Now, you guys know where I stand on Drake. Given how corny Drake is, he probably did. <laughs> he probably did, and he just as goofy as what's the dirt if that's the case. Dude. But. That's a wild assumption to make, okay? Being mad or what's the dirt? That's a wild assumption to make. There's, I, I find that hard to believe Drake would do that. But let's say that's correct. That's what that would mean. It would mean that Drake is literally quantifying the number of N words per song to prove his blackness. That, and that's fucking sad. That's that the proves... thing I've ever heard in my life. Yes. There's nothing wider than that. Yes. If Drake is doing that. As that's say, embarrassing. That's, that is like. An entendre, a layer. That is crazy. It's not clever. It would be additional demise and, and another and that would prove example of how of the song aging so poorly. That's crazy. Now, let's go the other way. Let's say Matt is straight up reaching. Let's say I this is the Matt, biggest Matt reach or example of reaching, an example of what uh, Be Fresh, Whitney's cousin, was saying to Curtis King. Let's say this is an example of uh, at home analyzers so sitting back and animals. coming up with meanings and things for songs. Let's say this is an example of that because no, no conscious person, no, <laughs> no person, 
no non schizophrenic person is going to sit around and uh, make sure they include the number of niggas in a song to prove they're black. Let's say this is the biggest reach ever. Then that means Matt is so in the weeds, so in the woods, mm. not even in this video, but in the whole process, that he's counting the number of niggas in a song. Yeah, that's crazy. I was disturbed <laughs> by this on both sides. On both sides, like, you know, let's say Drake really did that. That's crazy. That is and disturbing. Just, let's say Matt, you know, really counted this point in the sound. Let's, let's say Drake, Matt's correct. That's what it was. So. That's crazy to even find that. Because all of that makes Kendrick's the, whole point. Thank you. No matter how you look at it. It, it makes Kendrick's point. But for you to even be like, for him to even think to count the number of niggas, <laughs> that's already where his mind was going. Like, is he trying to, okay, he's saying nigga a lot. Okay, let me count. He's, he's trying to prove that he's black. Yeah, and this does prove that he's black. If Drake did it or didn't do it, if Matt's reaching or not reaching, that is Kendrick's point. And that point isn't made in this video. And I'm guessing most of the people who are watching Matt's stuff are middle schoolers and high schoolers. And Absolutely. they're going to grow with this video thinking this is a fact of this they battle. They're going to be like, this fire, this he's fact right. of this battle is clever. I should do it too. And this is the problem people have with people far away from the action watching stuff happen online. Mm. This is a myopic view mm. that is narrow for the past minute and a half. These all these clips, all these things I just talked about right here, that are narrow, very difficult to prove if you don't talk to somebody, which I talked about in the Matt's misstep video. But it's an example of how Matt's worldview creeps into his interpretation of what's happening mm. and how he presents That's a word. Them. At least in this case, I'll use this. There's That's his own worldview. Point about that because I do think versus what's actually video, taking place mostly around his analysis of the visual in my opinion but his goal is to be the guy who has the definitive videos around this battle and this video this two hours and 30 minute video is going to resonate that's got 204,000 views in a day is going to resonate with in my opinion largely young people who are trying to learn about this and they're going to come away with you know sometimes when people say Sometimes you need to count the number of niggas because it might mean something. Yeah, that's sad. That is a problem to me. That is. That is a problem problem to me. And a lot of times, too, because I've done a lot of reptiles, and a lot of times, a lot of times, you uh, you find yourself in these rabbit holes where you're doing research. You find yourself in these rabbit holes, and you're like, oh, man, but this, this, right? All of a sudden, you're doing 3D chess and all this stuff. But then that the finished product comes around, and you look at it before you publish it, and you say, is that really worth mentioning? Is that worth mentioning? Does he show any other examples? So I don't know how this point at all is going to live on in the future. But to me, this is an example of what I imagine really happened. That last video and the first video he did on this, on this battle. Those two videos were so, really all these videos, they're so anticipated now that he found himself in more weeds than he needed to be. I agree. Very interesting. And it's so ironic that you have these non-black people who are doing these videos to break down what Kendrick meant about Drake being outside the culture when they themselves are outside the culture. <laughs> so it's like you 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 need to be very careful with this research that you're doing and how you're analyzing this because chances are you don't understand what's going on either because you are literally outside of this space, of this culture. And this is not to shun anybody or to separate anybody, but the reality is there are differences within, uh, or between cultures and between, you know, races. And if you don't really understand that completely, you need to be careful and you need to properly educate yourself as much as possible before releasing videos like this because it is very irresponsible and you just look so fucking goofy and again if you even go back and watch the previous reactions that i've done for these breakdowns uh by matt what's the dirt and a couple others i've definitely pointed out when they are wrong or when they make certain comments that i'm just like mm, that's not that's not what that means or that's off <laughs> And, and, you know, it's, it's always been because they are outside of the culture. They don't fully understand. So it's like, is this something you should be breaking down? If you're not going to properly educate yourself? It's one thing to react to it and to, you know, give your opinions and throw shit out there and be wrong. I do it all the time. I do it every day. <laughs> I'm always reacting to shit and, and I'm not right about everything. Nobody's saying that you have to always be correct with everything. But when you are making these breakdown videos and explicitly stating that you want to be the go-to resource for information for this beef, 
you should definitely be doing a lot of research and being very careful with how you are conveying, you know, uh, these songs or these breakdowns of these songs. So I definitely take issue with this. It makes me roll my eyes. I roll my eyes at him and the other one. What's the other one? I, I don't know his name, but I roll my eyes at him heavy. And y'all love him because y'all always tell me to react to him. What's that white, that white guy's name? I don't know. But when he's on the screen, I roll my eyes. And people be like, what? <laughs> they be like, why every time they react to uh, Knox? And y'all love the fuck out of him. Oh, he's great. He breaks down everything perfect. Roll my eyes to the back of my head <laughs> with him as well for the same reason. Because I've definitely heard him say a couple things as well that I've been like, what? You know, so... This is annoying, but whatever. People gonna consume it and they gonna eat it the fuck up because most of his audience is non-black and they, they're outside of the culture as well. So everybody's confused. It's the blind leading the fucking blind. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you're gonna be watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.